Hello friends. So again the topic for discussion is recursion but this time the example which we'll discuss is or the problem which we'll discuss is called as Fibonacci series. Fibonacci series. So the problem statement is write a function to compute the nth Fibonacci number. Right? So we are asked to compute the nth Fibonacci number. So before uh, solving a problem, let's try to understand what is Fibonacci series. Fibonacci series looks like this. So the first Fibonacci number is 1, second Fibonacci number is also 1, the third Fibonacci number is sum of these two Fibonacci numbers. So 1 plus 1 is 2, then 1 plus 2 is 3, 2 plus 3 is 5, 3 plus 5 is 8, 5 plus 8 is 13, 8 plus uh, 13 is 21 and so on and so forth. So this is a Fibonacci series. In fact, if I write a generalized formula, so nth Fibonacci number or fib, fib of n, that is nth Fibonacci number is equal to n minus first Fibonacci number plus n minus second Fibonacci number. So this is the formula we should be using. So I can write a recursive function here because this problem is recursive in nature. So let us write a recursive function to do this, compute the nth Fibonacci number. In fact, the question for me, me will be or the, uh, the problem for me will be compute the nth Fibonacci number or compute for example let us say the 100th Fibonacci number or 200th Fibonacci number. So let us write a function for this. So here is a very simple function. So int is the return type, name of the function is fib. So we are asking the function fib to compute the nth Fibonacci number that is why the parameter is integer n. So now if I am asked to compute the first or second Fibonacci number so I know the first or second Fibonacci number is 1, so I will simply return 1. Right? Else I will return Fib of n minus 1 plus Fib of n minus 2. So, so, so if I don't know if I am asked to compute some uh, random Fibonacci number, let us say nth Fibonacci number, so I and if that n is uh, neither 1 nor 2, so I will have to uh, know what is n minus first Fibonacci number and what is n minus second Fibonacci number. So I do not know what is n minus first Fibonacci number. I will call the same function to compute the n minus first Fibonacci number for me and also I will call the same function to compute the n minus second Fibonacci number for me and once I get those I will add them and return the result. So let us execute this function for n equal to 5 let us say. So let us see what let us say what will be the cause. So Fib of uh, 5 let us say this is the call from main function. So Fib of 5 will execute statement number let me let me number the statements here 1 2 and 3 so for fib of 5 will uh, check statement number 1 but statement number 1 will uh, be condition there will be false because n is neither 1 nor 2 so i'll not return 1 i'll go to return fib of n minus 1 plus uh, fib of n minus 2 in fact i am uh, generating two uh, recursive calls from here to calls to the same function from here that is on the third statement of this call the first call I am generating this to fib of n equal to 5 here so fib of n minus 1 that is 4 plus fib of n minus 2 that is 3 so these are the calls generated uh, by this fib of 5 call so I go to execute fib of 4 first so when I go to execute fib of 4 so here is my fib of 4, fib of 4, so n equal to 4 here. So I check the 
first statement but the condition in first statement is false so I don't return 1 so I say return fib of uh, n minus 1 that is 3 plus fib of 2 so I have recursive calls here so I go to execute fib of 3 first so I execute fib of 3 here right so fib of uh, 3 so n equal to 3 here so I will execute statement number 1 but condition is false don't execute statement number 2 go to statement number 3 directly so here it says return uh, fib of uh, 2 plus fib of uh, 1 so I go to execute this call now this is fib of 2 fib of 2 so fib of 2 <coughs> fib of uh, 2 uh, again n equal to 2 here so I will not execute statement num uh, I will find n equal to I will execute statement number 1 and I will find n equal to 2 so this is logical or in fact so either this condition should be true or this condition should be true or both can be true if that is the case then I will execute this now in this case n is equal to true that means this condition is true so I will first time return 1 from here so I will return 1 from here I'll get one right so this one will replace this fib of two right now I'll execute this call so when I execute this call okay, so again I find the statement number one after execution the condition is true so n equal to one so I say return one from here so I return one from here and this one will replace this call so now I do two plus one is three so I return three from here and that three will be replacing this fib of 3 call right and then I do this fib of 2 when I execute fib of 2 call when I execute fib of uh, 2 call I find the first statement in first statement the condition is true so I return 1 from here so this 1 will be replacing this fib of 2 call sorry, 1 right so now So I have written one from here. So I'm sorry, fib of uh, two here. We must have written. Uh, we should have written one because the second Fibonacci number is one. So we should have written one from here. So one plus one two should have been written from here. So this two will replace this fib of three call. Right. And now from here I have got one. So I'll replace two plus one uh, three. I'll replace. I'll, uh, I'll return from here. So this three will replace uh, this call. Okay. So uh, similarly, uh, from this side, I'll get fib of. Uh, if I if I do the same uh, execution on this for this call, so I'll get the answer for this call as uh, two. So now here I'll do the addition of this two three plus. Uh, 2 is 5 so I'll return 5 from here as answer to fib of 5 call so that's the execution of this uh, Fibonacci uh, function which is recursive in nature again just to summarize uh, <coughs> this is a recursive function because this function calls itself you know, in fact we are calling the same function twice right so here is the first call and here is the second call so that's why uh, this is a recursive function and now in fact uh, this is called as recursion tree sort of thing so the recursion expands and when we hit the terminating point the terminating point is when n reaches to 1 or when it reaches to Two, that's the terminating point and from them from there on, on there we start winding up the recursion right and go back uh, till we uh, get the answer to the original problem 5 so thank you for watching